please, I'm Lauren Vitali. On this episode of Lauren in the Kitchen, I want to show you how I make my chocolate raspberry tart. It is just beautiful and every chocolate lover's dream come true. It's just taken to a whole new level with the raspberries and I'll show you how in just a minute. But before we get started, let's go over the ingredients. You're going to need some crushed chocolate graham crackers or any chocolate biscuit will do. You're going to need some semi-sweet chocolate chips, some fresh raspberries, some heavy cream, a pinch of salt, melted butter, and a little bit of sugar. And you're also going to need some additional raspberries to just decorate the top with, which we'll go into in a little bit. Okay, first thing you want to do is get a 9 inch tart pan, spray it with non-stick cooking spray, and get that done and out of the way. So, in this bowl, my special Valentine's Day heart-shaped bowl, all I'm going to do is take my ground up chocolate graham crackers, teeny tiny bit of sugar, not a whole lot, but a tablespoon or a little bit less should do, and the melted butter. All I'm going to do is mix this with a spatula until you get like the mixture and the, the consistency of wet sand. Just putting my mixture in my butter tart pan. Smells so good already. And now all I'm going to do with my hands is just kind of like even it out as much as we can, making it as even as possible. And then you're just going to press it, making sure to press up the sides as well. You want this to be really, really tightly packed, but do not forget the sides. You don't want to leave anybody out. Just do this as even as possible. You can even use like the bottom of a glass or like a little ramekin like so to kind of help you get the sides all packed in there. Now I'm going to put this in the fridge for about 10 minutes or so. I want this to set and in the meantime preheat your oven to 350 and after 10 minutes in the fridge you're going to put this into the oven for an extra 10 minutes and let it cool completely. Now we're going to start on the sauce, or on the filling of the tart. Now remember, my crust, I put it in the fridge for 10 minutes to set, then I put it into the oven at 350 and it's got just a few more minutes left. It's going to bake for about 10 minutes and while that's happening, we're going to make the filling. So in the blender, I'm going to put in some raspberries and all I'm going to do is whiz this up and puree them. I want them to be nice and smooth. That looks good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass this through a fine sieve and because the sieve is so, so fine, let me just get my spatula and get the rest out. Because the sieve is so fine and you want it to be fine so it can hold all the seeds, you're just going to take your spatula and let that help you pass it through nice and easy. Okie doke. I'm done with my raspberries. Look at the puree. It's just so beautiful and so smooth. Look at all the seeds that are under there, that are in there now. That would have been in your final dish, but you don't want that. So, I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to clean up this little piece that I dropped, set it aside. I also took my uh, shell out of the oven. It was baking for about 10 minutes, and now I'm going to just set it aside to cool while I make my ganache part of this. Now, in this little saucepan, I'm going to put in my heavy cream. And I'm going to bring this to a simmer. A simmer is just meaning that it's right under boiling point. So let that happen and I'm going to take my chocolate chips, put them right into this bowl and leave it alone. Don't bother them, nothing. When this comes to a simmer, we'll take the next step. My heavy cream is up to a simmer so I'm going to just put in a slight little pinch of salt in my chocolate chips. Salt brings out the sweetness of anything you're baking. Remember that. It's just as important in baking as it is in cooking. Now I'm going to pour my hot heavy cream over the top of my chocolate chips and now I'm going to leave it like this for a good minute. I'm not going to stir it. I'm not going to bother it. I'm going to leave it just like that for about a minute. After letting it sit for just a minute, now I'm going to go in there and whisk it all up until the chocolate is fully melted in the heavy cream. Perfect. So now that you have that done, we are going to pour in the raspberry puree. And this is what makes this so interesting because it goes from all chocolate and delicious to really having like an interesting background. It almost cuts the richness and sweetness but just gives it another element of flavor. It is just so, so good. 
whisk it all up just really fast. Doesn't take long at all. That looks good. Then all we're going to do is pour this into the tart shell. And there you go. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to take my spatula and get every little bit out of there. Oh, it's going to be so delicious. Now what I'm going to do is put this into the fridge for about an hour. And after an hour, we're going to top it and then I'll show you the next step. My tart has been in the fridge for about a half hour. You can, a minimum of half an hour because I'm going to top this with raspberries. But if I were to do this, be, when I pour the mixture in, because the mixture is so liquidy, the raspberries are going to like sink in and they're not going to be perfect on there. So put it in the fridge for about a half hour until it's set enough so that when you add in or on top your beautiful fresh raspberries, they're going to sit perfectly and they're not going to sink. Now what I like to do is just go all around the edges, go in and go in. I like to leave an opening right in the center because I like for you to see that dark chocolate mixture that's just oh, so delicious. So that's all I'm going to do to set these up like pretty little soldiers. Last one. So that's what I do. I do three rows and leave the center untouched because you can see that dark chocolate delightfulness that we're going to sink our teeth into, but not quite yet. This has to go back in the fridge for another hour and a half or so because the chocolate mixture needs to have a chance to really, really set, otherwise it's going to fall apart. Here we go. My tart was in the fridge for another hour and a half or so after we topped it with the raspberries and it's fully set, which means we're ready to eat this one. And it is exciting because this is pure decadence right here. So I'm just going to loosen up. Yeah, look at that. That is just gorgeous. I'm going to set this down. And I'm going to go grab a plate really quickly because this is not acceptable that I don't have a plate because I'm hungry. I'm going to slice this right through. Look how beautiful. Oh, I'm very excited as you might look at that. Uh, yes, please, on my plate and in my belly. Thank you. And that's exactly where it's going. Mmm, that's beautiful. There are no words. It's exceptionally, it's just, it's decadent. I, I can't, I don't even know what to say. It's perfection in one bite. The, shrub, the raspberry puree makes a world of a difference. Please try this recipe for your loved ones on Valentine's Day. You will knock it out of the park with this one. To get this recipe and others, go to www.laurainkitchen.com. I'll see you next time. I'm going back for more. but it somehow just elevates it to a whole other level with the strawberry, with the raspberries. I'm sorry, restart, because that was not a strawberry. <laughs> it was a raspberry.